Hi everyone, it's Brittany. 大家好，我是 Brittany. In this video, I will teach you one trick that you can learn before the infinite suicide. So, what infinite suicide? Let me show you. There are actually two ways of doing infinite suicide. One is with a loop in your example. The other one is the without one. Now, let me show you the first one. It's easier one than with a loop. The loop that means your right hand just close the circle, or your left hand. It doesn't matter. Okay, and then you let go the other hand, and you can do the suicide infinitely. So we are calling it infinite suicide. So this one is with a loop in the middle. The other one is without a loop. You can oh both of the suicide that you can do it with either your right hand or your left hand. And the other one is in、um, without the loop infinite suicide. I'm gonna show you with my left hand. So remember, either right hand or left hand, both of them are okay. So there's no loop. You just quickly let go of the other hand. So that one is a little bit fancy. Like you can't just stop. You can stop just quickly grab the the free stick, but it's not easy. Show you one more time. So the ceiling is a little bit low, so I have to bend down just in case my stick hit the, the the top. Okay, so that's the first one. So do you know there's another choice? There's a something else you can do that look like very similar to an infinite suicide. Let me show you how it look like. That one looks just like an infinite suicide, right? So actually, that one is not the one with loop or the one without loop. This one is a little bit tricky. It's actually a practice for your right hand. If you want to do it with your right hand, that's the practice for your right hand. You can see that I do a little pull between every circle. So my yo-yo is very slow. The faster your yo-yo is, the faster it drops. So if you can start with hand spin, that's the best. But if your yo-yo's bearing is not so nice, like your yo-yo speed, your yo-yo spin doesn't last as long. Then you might add a little bit speed. But for me, my bearing is pretty nice, so I just give it one hand spin and I look two times, one and two, and I let go my left hand, my right hand, just doing a pulling up. I don't have to do a circle or anything. Just pull up, okay? So I let go of my left hand. Just pull up and pull up. I can catch it. So I do the two loop. So the free stick will go around twice. And if you want to do it five times, seven times, depends on how long your string is. The longer that is, the the more the more circle you can do. But your axle is only this small. So I recommend it. Don't ever do it more than six. Do a five, do a six. That's the maximum. Otherwise, your yo-yo will kind of feel stuck. For me, I like to do just four or five. Okay, let me show you from the side. You will see how that look like. So I look with my right hand, and the free stick should go in front of my right hand stick. I also show you、um, two times. So one, go. To look, you want to focus on this. Focus on my left hand stick. Okay, now I let go. One, two. See this one? Go in front of the right hand string instead of outside. I go outside. So I show you clear one, the slower one. I make four loops. One, two, three, four. Let go of your the other hand. One, two. Three, four. That look like that, right? So, just do it four times, five times. The more loop, the slower that is. You have to remember. You kind of have to do a gentle pull between every circle. If you don't pull it at the right time, your yo-yo will keep falling down. If I pull it and the yo-yo can feel it and catch the same timing, your yo-yo will actually go up a little bit. So I'm gonna show you one is 
Mm, I pulled at the wrong time. Okay. Take a look. Two, three. I pulled it at the wrong time. Actually, my unit just got stuck because it's inside and outside. So, if you keep pulling up, you pull up, you forgot to come back down, you can do one, two, three, and you stop right there, okay? And when you pull up and then come back down, pull up and then come back down. This is about 30, cinema, 30 centimeters. That's the, that's the end space you have right here, okay? So one more time. One, two, three, four, five. This time I do five loops. And when you let go, you point your the other stick, point down. Once you point down, it's easier. The entire thing is straight. Show it a pretty diagonal there. The straight, the straighter that you let go, the easier you do, the stable that is. Actually, I lose count already. So one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Five times. And remember, your the other hand always has to be higher than your dominant hand. So I do a five loop and my right hand lower my left hand is higher, point down like pretty diagonal. You don't want to go like that. You don't want this ankle right there, okay? So you point down and you let go. One, two, three, four, five, and you catch it, okay? There shouldn't be any loop in there, so. This one look exactly, not exactly, 90% look like the infinite suicide, but the bad thing about this, this one cannot do the 360. 360, you can do the with loop or without loop. Let me show you the one with the loop. So this one, that's the infinite suicide. sign. You can do the 360. So you can do the right side 360 and the left side 360. We will talk more in the other videos, okay? So this one, give it a try. This one is actually just an exercise before you you learn the rap infinite suicide. Do this exercise. I think you can do the five loops or six loops. You can definitely do it. But if your stick is not a carbon stick, they can either be carbon and aluminum or glass fiber or plastic, it's all okay. As long as you tie your stick in the bottom of your stick, then you can do it. If your stick is wooden sticks, they simply just tie your knot on the top, and this one is not for you. And if you think your stick is going too quickly, that means your stick is too light. If your st stick is too light, you, that doesn't mean that you have to get a new stick. Only means you have to give extra string and then tie it on the bottom right here. There, that might be a little bit ugly. So look, there will be extra string on this stick. And then which hand you want to let go? If I want to let go my left hand, the extra string, put it behind the left hand button. Okay, and then you can swing smoothly, okay? So this one is the, I don't know, this one doesn't even have a name, I don't know. Just the suicide, just the infinite suicide exercise, I guess. I guess I came up with a name, I don't know, maybe. So if you want to get a Diablo, you want to get a triple berry, five berry, or you want to get the LED kit, um, Stakes or strings or anything, you want to make sure you get the right one. You can go to www.sandiausa.com. www.sandiausa.com. You go there, you won't go wrong. Every Diablo there is nice Diablo, then you will know that's a high quality. You spend a little bit of money, and your Diablo can last for a very, very long time. You can even pass on to the generation. I don't know, I don't have a second generation, so. We will see. So go there, your Diablo, you won't go wrong there. And also you can visit my Udemy. Go on Udemy, look for Brittany or look for Diablo courses, Diablo. And you can find my, my course there and you can learn something more, okay? And I don't say that very often, so if you like my video, you can like my video or put a subscribe or press the subscribe button and you can see more. Okay, I'll see you at the next video and maybe we can talk about more the 360, the loop one, and the unloop one. Okay, I'll see you at the next video. Also, see you at my Udemy. Bye-bye.